Hey, welcome to a new CrocFix video tutorial. I'm going to show you today what are the upgrade options for your notebook for the model HP ProBook 455 G10. If you need any parts or tools like the RAM upgrade or SSD, you can buy them directly from my link. Just click here on more under the video and you will see the links. And then you just click on the link and then you can access the parts. You can buy them directly here. We have here an HP ProBook 455 G10 and we are going to disassemble it to show you how to replace the parts inside. For now, I'm going to replace the SSD. Let's go and open it up. I'm gonna show you to see better that you see which ProBook it is. All right, let's close it, put it on a nice surface so you don't make scratches on the back cover and then let's go to remove the screws. We have one, two, three, four, five Phillips screws. You see normal Phillips screws and you need to remove those. Keep in mind that the, these three screws here are just secured so you can't take them out. Just unscrew them, leave them in. But these two on the bottom, you can remove. All right. Then we go lift up the back cover a bit. And we need to make a gap here between the back cover and the keyboard cover. So you need to make, you can do this with your fingernail like this. And then you go inside with a plastic tool. Don't go with anything sharp as you could damage the plastic. So once you are inside like this, then you just go through and try to open the cover. It needs to do the clicking sound. All right. Here we are through, then we go and proceed with the down area here. Same on this side. All right, let's try if we can already lift it up. Still not. So we do need to do more work here on the sides. You can try to close it now. And let's go here to till the end. Let's try if this screw is still tight. No, it's not. It's all right. Okay, sometimes these plastic are just a little bit hard to open, don't worry. Just let's check if there is another screw or something here. No, there isn't. Everything looks all right. Let's go. So let's try here also the same what we did on the other side to make a gap here or just to go with this plastic tool here to open it even more because there is some clip holding it like this, you see? And then we just go through here. 
carefully and slowly. And then we try to lift it up. Something is still holding it here, so just grab your tool, try to make more space. All right, there we go. Perfect. Now you lift up the back cover away from here. Perfect. So now the first thing before you do anything here, I would suggest that you unplug the battery because we don't want to do any shortcut or short cir circuit or something. So just unplug the battery. As you see, we have here two RAM slots. So you can put two uh, uh, physical memory modules here and there is <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> and there is the SSD so you can replace also the SSD this is what I'm going to do now because it only has 256 gigabytes and I'm going to put inside a 512 gigabytes all right so once the battery is unplugged we can go and we can unscrew here the main screw for the SSD. Take it out. And then we take a new Samsung SSD here and put it in place. We take the screw and mount it back. So that's it, that's a new SSD. If you want to replace the battery here, the battery number is RH03XL. So that's the battery number. If you want to replace it, you just unscrew this one, two, three, four, five, six screws, take it out and then you put a new one in and that's actually it. So if you want to replace the modules, uh, Six, uh, I think uh, 64 gigabytes are uh, allowed, so you can put two, uh, two times with 32 gigabytes inside without any issues, but you can't operate any um, CPU or graphic card as this is already soldered to the main board. So that's it. We are going to put back the back cover here in place. Let me just check if there is. We need to actually connect the battery back. Don't forget the battery. Plug it in. Perfect. And then we take the back cover put it here back in its place and then you click everywhere around until you hear the clicking sound because the back cover needs to go in place and the plastic needs to do a click. There we go. Then here and also around. That's it. We mount back the screws. And that's it. Enjoy your upgraded HP ProBook. Thanks for watching. If the video did somehow help you, then you can buy me a coffee. Donations are always appreciated. Thank you. You find the donation link in my about page and in the video description. Please also like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.